नेशनल फिजिक्स ओलंपियाड के क्वेश्चन पेपर से लिया गया फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स का ये क्वेश्चन जेई एडवांस के लेवल के काफ़ी क्लोज लगा इसलिए मैंने इसको इस चैनल पर डिस्कस करना ठीक समझा क्वेश्चन कुछ इस तरीके का है ये एक सिलेंड्रिकल कंटेनर है जिसका डायमीटर डी है इसके नीचे में एक छोटा और इफ छोटा होल है जिसको अभी प्लग इन रखा गया बंद रखा गया है और इसमें पानी भर दिया गया है जैसा आपको दिख रहा है अब ये एक दूसरा वाइड कंटेनर है जो बिल्कुल ब्रिम तक टॉप तक भरा हुआ है इस बात का सिग्निफिकेंस है इस क्वेश्चन में यहाँ तक भरा हुआ है बिल्कुल सिर तक भरा हुआ है उस कंटेनर में आपने इसको इन्वर्ट करके इसको सिलेंडर को डिप कर दिया दैट मीन्स इसका ये माउथ यहाँ आ गया और ये प्लग वाला हिस्सा ऊपर चला गया ठीक है नेचुरली पानी कुछ गिर सकता है यहाँ से गिरेगा फिर सिलेंडर को फ्लिप करके इसमें डालने के बाद अब आपने ये जो प्लग है इसको ओपन कर दिया प्लग ओपन करने से प्लग का जो होल प्लग ओपन करने से जो होल एक्सपोज हुआ उसका डायमीटर ए है सामान लीजिए और ए जो है इस सिलेंडर के डायमीटर के कंपैरिजन में काफ़ी छोटा है सामान लीजिए ठीक है अब यहाँ से नेचुरली हवा एटमोसफेरिक एयर जो है वो इसमें रश करेगी अंदर आएगी क्वेश्चन में ये एजम्पन्स लेने हैं आपको कि एयर इनकम्प्रेसिबल है और ये जो हवा अंदर आ रही है इस होल के थ्रू ये जो फ्लो है ये पूरी तरह से स्ट्रीम लाइन फ्लो है एयर रशेज इन टू दिलेंडर एंड द फ्लो इज स्ट्रीम लाइन फ्लो राइट एयर की डेंसिटी को रो ए लिखेंगे वाटर की डेंसिटी को रो डब्ल्यू लिखेंगे एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर को हम पी नॉट लिखेंगे पी नॉट रो डब्ल्यू फॉर डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर रो ए फॉर डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर वी विल एज्यूम दैट एयर इज एन आइडियल फ्लूड इनकम्प्रेसिबल नॉन विस्कस एंड एयर रशेज इन टू दिस पाइप इन टू दिस सिलेंड्रिकल पाइप थ्रू दिस और एंड द फ्लो कैन बी एज्यूम टू बी स्ट्रीम लाइन फ्लो दिस डायमीटर इज वेरी स्मॉल कॉम्पेयर टू डायमीटर ऑफ दिस सिलेंड्रिकल पाइप एंड देन दिस वाटर सर्फेस एज यू ऑल कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई होप यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस वाटर सर्फेस विल बिगिन टू फॉल इनिशियली वेन यू ओपन द प्लग द हाइट ऑफ दिस वाटर सर्फेस अबव द वाटर सर्फेस इन दिस वाइड कंटेनर इज एच नॉट दिस इज एच नॉट इनिशियली वेन यू ओपन इट राइट इट स्टार्ट टू फॉल At any time t, this is the situation at time t is equal to zero. When you open the cap, at any time t, this is the situation. The height of this water surface above the water surface in the white container is h. Now the question is, you have to express the speed of this surface, the speed at which this surface is falling down, as a function of h. You have to express. speed of this water surface as a function of this height h that is first question and the second question is you have to write this height h as a function of time so this is the entire question i am getting out for a second if you want to take a snap you can take it here i am proceeding with my solution this is the situation at any time the pressure here is atmospheric pressure and let us assume that the pressure of air inside this cylindrical container is p i am writing pressure inside pressure of the air inside the cylindrical container as p now because this tank is quite wide i mean the pipe is quite wide uh, of course this level is falling at a speed that is much 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 smaller than the speed at which air might be rushing into the cylindrical pipe but okay at any instant t if this height is represented by h then pressure here pressure of the gas pressure of the air over here can be written as p not minus rho g h or you can say if the pressure is p here then p plus rho g h rho means density of water p plus rho g h must be equal to atmospheric pressure so p plus rho g h is equal to atmospheric pressure which means p minus p not is equal to 
rho g h rho stands for density of water uh, now let us use bernoulli's equation for the air that is flowing into the cylindrical pipe from the atmosphere we are assuming that the flow is a streamline flow and we are considering a point just outside the mouth of the opening and inside the mouth of the opening here uh, outside the atmosphere is quite still and we can assume that there is no speed of flow actually so speed of flow a little bit far away from this hole is obviously very small it can be taken as zero and just here let us assume that air is rushing into this hole at speed v at point 2 the speed is v there is not a significant height difference between these two points so the third term in bernoulli's equation rho g h we will not write that right so i am writing bernoulli's equation here pressure is p naught speed is negligible p naught half rho v square is negligible a height i have not written because at both the points 1 and 2 height is uh, more or less similar it will have uh, there will be no difference because of height actually because rho g h the rho density of air is anyway small and if h is very small then that factor also rho g h that uh, term also becomes insignificant so I, have, I am writing Bernoulli's equation here pressure is p naught and here I have written half rho v square plus p p is the pressure of the gas pressure of the air inside this cylindrical container mind you this density rho is now density of air okay previously we were writing density of water in other equations now this is first time i am writing density of air so please be careful about that now this p naught minus p is known to us as a function of h so p naught minus p can be written as rho w g h so this is straight away gives us the speed of air flow wow what of the nine the point is if this height is h at any moment of time this pressure is atmospheric pressure here the pressure has to be p naught minus rho g h so i know the pressure of air inside the cylindrical container outside pressure is p naught obviously right now the pressure here p is less than p naught and that is why here air is gushing into this cylindrical pipe once the pressure becomes same there will be no flow of air so pressure p is less than p naught and that's why air is gushing into it right uh, here if you consider a unit volume of air it is only having pressure energy but when you consider a unit volume of air over here the pressure energy is low and therefore it is having some other form of energy that is kinetic energy that means there is some speed so we have written a speed of air flow v represents speed of air flow as a function of h mind you v is speed of air flow just inside that opening now the question says uh, what is speed of this water surface as a function of h uh, this part may be a bit tricky but i hope you will understand uh, speed of air that we have calculated is actually speed here inside the cylindrical container so cross sectional area is pi a square by 4 and the speed of inflow is v so this is the volume of air coming into the cylindrical container per unit time this is the rate of volume flow and this is the volume of air that is coming into the container at pressure p because this is speed of air inside the container just below this hole so here the pressure is p so at this very pressure p the volume of air that has come into the container in unit time is this much so itnai volume pani ko niche pani ke surface ko niche jana padega hawa ka volume yahan aaya to water level has to move down that is the thing that you need to understand so this is volume of air that has gushed in in unit time 
this is rate of flow of air uh, in terms of meter cube per second. Similarly, the water surface if it is moving down at a speed of V s, this speed is V s, then the volume that is being emptied for air to get accommodated is this speed V s into this cross sectional area and the cross sectional area is pi d square by 4. So, V s into pi d square by 4 therefore, obviously you get the value of V s in terms of V, V you have already calculated just plug in and you get your answer. Now, one part remains that is you have to write this height h as a function of time t it is not very difficult and I assume that you all be able to do it on your own just I will give you a hint if you need if you do not need that hint press the pause button <laughs> if you want that hint yes uh, what is that d h by d t what is d h by d t rather minus d h by d t that is v w uh, v s surface is coming down at this speed and this v s can be written as d h by d t with a negative sign. So, with this I hope you will be able to find h as a function of time t initial value of h is h naught. Do complete the question and if possible give the video a like. Thank you. Thank <music> you.